Hello there. Just catching up on a spot of reading. I love this book. It's a new purchase. It's got great illustrations and it has loads of lovely quotes in it, which I think are really thought provoking. Plus you don't have to spend loads of time on it. It's just one that you can dip in and out of. It's a good one. Anyway, what are your thoughts about reading? It's a tricky one, isn't it? It's no, it's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, Minty here loves a good story, falls asleep to anything. <laughs> I love a good story, love a good read, a bit of a novel, but it's not the same for everybody. There'll be some of you that have fantastic memories as a child, having favourite books that you can immerse yourself in. Some of you might even be an avid reader now to this day. There may also be others of you where reading has been a chore, where it's something that has to get done and maybe get out of the way. Perhaps the thought of reading actually triggers feelings of anxiety or reawakens tricky childhood memories for you. Well, we all have different relationships with books and reading, that's true. Not everybody has positive experiences. But did you know that there are lots of ways to tell stories? Books aren't the only option. In fact, many a great book has been made into a film and has been dramatised. So we at Interquest have put together a few examples of how you can tell stories. Some of these are based upon popular children's books um, and are positioned quite young. Uh, some of these are made up by ourselves, so we've had a little go at storytelling ourselves. Um, if you have older children actually that maybe love to be on screen, why not get them to have a go at retelling stories or making up their own? That would be fantastic. And record them. That would be brilliant. We'd love to see them. And I know you're, well, our young interquesters <laughs> would love to watch them too. Did you know actually that my first degree was in early childhood studies and I worked for many years as an early years worker in Thameside Children's Centres before we trained to become a children's play therapist? I did, and this is where I learned how to engage small children in storytelling. Simple and repetitive stories are the best for our youngsters. Voice tone and facial expression are also the keys to engaging our littlies with the joys of reading. It's also important, actually, to understand symbolic development when we're positioning our stories. So let's have a little look at this. I find this really fascinating. Did you know that we go through developmental stages when it comes to understanding what items are? So first of all, obviously, we understand the real item, so I can see that an apple is an apple, okay? And I learn to recognise it. I will then move through to understanding a miniature version of that item, so I might have a tiny apple that's in a play kit, okay? So a little toy apple. I'll then understand uh, photographs of that very same item then move on to line drawing of the item and then to the symbol of the item. So this is where PEC symbols or clip art and various things come in where we understand illustration a bit more. And then finally we move through to understanding the written word of that item. It takes a little bit of a process to get to that point and for some children and even adults um, you know we may have not even got to that stage where, where writing and understanding the written word has been really tricky. So when it comes to storytelling this can really help us to think about developmental stages and to pitch our stories, you know, at a good point. So let's have fun with it. Let's use puppets or real life items. Let's think outside the box on this one, eh? You might even want to couple it with learning Makaton or British Sign Language. I've had a little go of it in my videos. I'm not the greatest signer, but I've given it a go. So there's a couple of examples there for you to look at. We've also produced a little PDF leaflet which will help you discover a little bit more of the, about the importance of reading and storytelling and how it can not just only help academically but also be helping us to become more creative, imaginative, innovative and even increase our ability to empathise with others. It's fantastic. So the leaflet's not intended to provoke guilt or shame. We've all struggled at times with reading, I'm sure. And actually, if it's never been modelled to us, then we've never really experienced the true joys of it. And also, some of you may be a little bit like me, where you've had to do a lot of studying, read a lot of textbooks, and actually, you don't really want to read. <laughs> because it's just knocked it out of you because you've been studying for so long. So it's okay, it doesn't matter what stage you're at, let's see if we can give a go and uh, basically inspire you to have a go at storytelling in different ways. 
So take a look at the PDF explainer, watch some of the example stories that we've produced and we'll add those um, to it weekly for you to our YouTube channel. Uh, we'd love to see your creations though and why not even throw in a little bit of Makaton or, or British Sign Language to have a little go. So good luck on your storytelling adventures lovelies, I can't wait to hear from you. Please share with us how things have gone over your neck of the woods. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now lovelies.